Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, as we told you earlier, on Friday, this weekend, there would be an extreme weather conditions. Well, it's true. Uh, yes, it's been gorgeous in the eastern part of the United States, from Miami, Florida to Maine. It's been amazing. And I can tell you, we've enjoyed it. Uh, Friday and Saturday was just spectacular. I mean, yesterday, insanely beautiful. 71 degrees here in West Lafayette, Indiana. But that's coming to a screeching halt. As you look at the central part of the United States, rain, and I'm talking heavy downpours, are going to be taking place uh, from eastern uh, Texas. Louisiana will be drowned, I mean literally drenched, as it comes right up the Mississippi River. Uh, there's going to be rain all night tonight. Flooding is expected in some portions of this country. Now also in Alaska, there's a unbelievable strong storm that's taking place. Uh, this storm, it's gonna be a record time, strongest storm to impact Alaska. It's gonna be responsible for ushering one of the coldest air masses so far in the season into the Midwest and Eastern United States. This powerful storm strengthened over the weekend across the Bering Sea. Uh, it's tying a record for the strongest storm to ever impact the region. Uh, last night, the Ocean Prediction Center analyzed the central area of the low pressure of this storm uh, over the Bering Sea. They said that the, uh, it was incredible. It matched the central pressures of ex-super typhoon Nuri, from a little over a year ago. So it's a, a major storm uh, sweeping into Alaska that's going to come down through Canada and will go right into the Great Lakes and bring some bitter cold. So it's on the way, guys. It is flat out on the way. Now, while that's going on, and, and uh, let me tell you what's going to happen tonight. Besides this incredible amount of rain that you can see from the entire central part of the country, there's a whole lot more going to happen here. If you're out here, fo folks, this is a ton of rain here, a ton of rain and could be some severe flooding. But there's a blizzard going to happen uh, tonight. It's blizzard conditions. Uh, tonight, snow will spread from northeastern New Mexico uh, all the way up the Texas Panhandle uh, is going to really get buried with some snow all the way to eastern Nebraska and a little bit of snow also falling up near Minnesota and Wisconsin and that's mainly uh, going to trickle its way there but here you'll see it there's going to be some heavy snow right in here right in here right on the edge of New Mexico Texas Panhandle Oklahoma on up into Kansas there, there's going to be some definitely, up into Nebraska, excuse me, and it's going to be, bring some definite snow blizzards that are coming, blizzard conditions. So we are experiencing an unbelievable extreme weather weekend. Record temperatures in the East Coast, especially up in the Northeast. Record, record temperatures up here. And uh, beautiful weather for all of the East Coast, all the way to Indiana. I mean, it's just gorgeous. But now it starts Sunday night uh, with these downpouring rains and flooding expected through the central part of the country. Heavy snows up in the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma, uh, Nebraska, uh, North, New Mexico, all in that area. And then, of course, Alaska being hit with a record storm that's bringing in some very bitter cold air that will then force its way down through Canada right into the Midwest. So we're going to keep a close eye on all of this. It continues climate chaos, just exactly as we said. Speaking of climate chaos, President Obama is excited because when the world met for their climate chaos conference in Paris, France, the President Barack Obama said today that the new global climate agreement offers the best chance we have to save the planet. See, he's more worried about saving the planet from climate change than he is with dealing with ISIS and radical Islam. I mean, this guy is so far out there that it, he's so far behind in what's happening, he thinks he's ahead. I mean, it's just insanity. I, I'll talk about all that tonight. Don't miss tonight, Sunday Night Live. And oh, by the way, we've gotten some confirmations. This is going to be a power week. 
You want to be at paulbakeleyprophecy.com with me all week this week. I've got confirmations um, probably tomorrow my show. We're waiting for the confirmation, but we've been back and forth with uh, Avi Lipkin. Avi Lipkin will probably be our guest tomorrow, Monday. You don't miss, don't you dare miss it, Avi Lipkin. Tuesday, we've already got it locked down. Mike from around the world will be our guest on Tuesday. We're going to talk about the Middle East with him, as well as the Middle East with Avi Lipkin. Uh, then Thursday, we have it locked down, locked down Thursday. Gil Bursard, going to talk about Planet X, this new discovery that they have. There's been two planets discovered on the outer edges of our uh, solar system. What does this all mean? Is that Planet X, Nubiru? And he has some brand new information. Shocking. You're going to get that on Thursday. You don't want to miss that. Also, we're probably going to lock down Russ, uh, Russ Dizdar this week, and we're going to have... Uh, archaeologist Bruce Hall, who actually went up into, uh, they just come out with a film called Finding Noah. He is the archaeologist who led an expedition of, of uh, explorers with him to Mount uh, Ararat, and they think they found Noah's Ark. Now, it's different than what people have always been saying it was Noah's Ark, which has been proven not to be. They have found pieces of wood they believe is gopher wood. It's right now in two universities being analyzed. There is no gopher wood that ever grew on top of Mount Ararat. So if this is gopher wood, then they have found the actual Ark of Noah. And they're going to give us this information. He's going to be our guest this week as well. I'll tell you what day he's on. But don't forget this. Avi Lipkin Monday, Mike from Around the World Tuesday, and... Uh, um, Thursday is going to be Gil Bursard, and then throw in Bruce Hall, the archaeologist, throw in um, Russ Dizdar, and you've got a power, power week this week. So don't miss it tonight, Sunday Night Live. Oh my, we're going to talk about everything that's happening around the world.